Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm actually gonna be installing this big uh, four inch intake. It's a fender well intake for the Trailblazer. So while I do this fender well intake, I am gonna be changing the old washer tank for this little one. So this could fit in there. So I'm just gonna start taking everything apart. And the only thing I don't have is the LS7 MAF sensor. And this is the card style one. So that's not gonna work. So that's the only thing I do have to order is this MAF sensor for this intake. But I'm gonna go ahead and start taking all this apart. Uh, including that washer tank and throw that other one on here. I'm gonna have to drill the hole for that intake to go through and down by the bumper and it's gonna be down here. All right, so I took everything off already and I'm about to drill the hole and I ended up getting a four inch and a quarter circular saw cut off. I know these things come with a diagram to tell you where to drill the holes, but I ended up buying mine's used from some guy that didn't need it anymore. So that's why it's missing that sensor. And I'm just gonna go ahead and eyeball it somewhere around here. I did take the intake and I threw it kind of on there to see where this end was actually gonna exit down here. So I kind of drew that little circle there. So I'm gonna go with this one over here and we'll see how that works. check it out that hook came out good i think that was in the right spot because of this fender well plastic that's that's there so i'm pretty sure i drilled it in the right spot so i was gonna go ahead and throw the intake on and see how that thing fits all right so i just got done putting in the intake so it's all nice and tight and i also put that windshield washer fluid reservoir right there so it's, it's pretty nice everything's plugged in and as you guys can see i have more room there which is a lot better and the only thing i am missing is that sensor that i told you guys about and if you guys can see down here, this is the air filter right here. So it's the k and uh, air filter. So it goes just like that. This is down here, right behind this. And that's where it's at. All right, guys, so my GoPro died. But so this fender wheel intake is gonna be a lot better because all the air is gonna rush into this vent right here. And the filter is right here. So this is gonna have a lot more air going in which also means it's gonna run a little lean because of the size of the intake and where that filter is placed. So it's gonna be, be sucking in more air. And I do have to get it retuned again because of this intake. It's a lot bigger than the other one I had on here. So it's gonna be a little leaner. The only thing I need to put on is the shield. Uh, that way it protects that filter down there. That was pretty much it for today's video. It was a simple video again. Uh, the progress on the Trailblazer is just little by little uh, right now. So whenever I have time, I come out and work on it. So the only thing I gotta do now is just take off all the tires off the SS. That way I can take them to the powder coating place tomorrow. I do have an appointment already at eight in the morning. So it's the same day turnaround for the rims and the tires and just stick around for that video tomorrow. So I'm pretty happy with the way this came out. It's real nice. This thing is coming along real good, so. And before I end today's video, guys, make sure you guys like the video, comment, and share. And if you're not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. That way you guys can see the progress on the SS. And like I said, just stick around for tomorrow's video, which is gonna be on the powder coating of the rims. So yeah, guys, just stick around for that. And I'll catch you guys again tomorrow.